everyone. I hope you're doing great. It is a wonderful night. It is J December 31st. So um, happy new year to you all. Um, this reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio for the rest of the month. Um, so if you have any Scorpio placements in your chart, this reading is for you. Um, if you happen to be across watching, you stop into this reading. Maybe there's a message for you also. Okay. Remember energies are interchangeable. It could be talking about you or reflecting about the person you're dealing with or the situation. Okay. Um, I want to wish a happy birthday to Capricorn. Also a happy belated birthday to Sagittarius. I'm going to go over the cards and the decks that I'm using here for your reading. The first one that I, I'm using, the tarot read, is coming from Colette Baron Reed. It's called the Good Tarot, okay? Then we have the Angel Guide Oracle, okay, that I'm taking messages from oracles. And messages from the light, okay, and also daily crystals, what crystal you should be focusing on, okay? Um, I want to say thank you to a friend who brought me this one here. He, very close friend of mine. <laughs> He's a great individual. So uh, I want to thank I want to thank him if he's watching this video um, for this uh, new tarot deck that I'm going to be using in the ending of January. Okay, beginning of February. Um, it's called Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I could have used it now because it would have been great because this this is for this season here. But I'm going to use it. I just got to give it time to the cards stick together too much right now. I can't like shuffle them very right, and they need the energy. You know my energy here. So. Once that, that happens, by the end of the month, I, I should be able to use them. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Let's begin your reading, um, Scorpio. Your overall energy is six of air. And this is a good energy. This is moving toward a happy place. Moving towards your happiness. Moving towards your goals. Moving towards situations that are going to benefit you okay and as you can see this this boat is moving towards this ship it's a ship moving towards the light and there's a lot of water emotions there's air there's everything there's messages there's water there's emotions there's communication and this is moving forward in a certain direction so from this point on to the rest of the month you're going to be moving in a direction that's going to bring you a lot of happiness a lot of peace a lot of contentment okay we have the call card that came up for you. And the call card could be messages you're getting or maybe a phone call that you will be receiving that's going to change the direction of your movement, right? Or a message that you're going to receive or some type, form of communication you're going to receive. Or maybe it's downloads from spirit and, you know, from your intuition, from prayer, you know, from your dream. That, that could be a possibility, too. You get messages through those. There's many various forms of messages, not just calling someone. But the card does say call. It could be that you begin to know what is your gift, what it is that you want to focus on, what kind of things you want to, you know, maybe you want to go in a different direct in your, you know, different direction in your career. You find something that is your calling. That, too. This could mean that, too. So there's many different messages for this card. Many different meanings more like it. So a message of some kind is coming through and it's going to help you in the direction that you're going to go into. Okay. You get the five of fire. The fire, f five of fire is really putting your ideas together. A lot of passion, a lot of energy, putting your ideas together in regards to this call, the situation, this message, and really building on it and really preserving it, really going optimistically into your goals or into a situation or you know, even moving forward in a relationship. I don't see relationship cards here, so I'm going to make it very general. It's something you're very passionate about and you're going to be moving forward with, okay? We also get the seven of fire. The seven of fire is building. You see the unicorn here? Climbing up that mountain, building, perseverance. Again, a lot of passionate energy here and really putting your all into whatever direction you're going to be heading into, okay? So you're going to be going in a passionate way into a new direction and it's going to be something you're going to feel profound about. You're going to feel energized. You're going to have lots of energy, I'm hearing. Energy. It's going to be, it's going to make you energized. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you peace and you're going to know that the way that you have chosen to move forward, whatever call you get, whatever calling, whatever intuition is telling you to do, you're going to go out and do it. And it's going to bring you lots of happiness, okay? Then we get the three of waters. And this is celebrating. This is uh, meeting like-minded people. This is celebration, happiness. So whatever movement you make or whatever call or message you receive and you decide to go to that route, whatever route it is, 
that you are heading to, whether it be a new relationship, a new job, or a better position in your in your current job. I see a lot of forward movement, a lot of passion, a lot of drive. And I feel that's going to bring a lot of celebrations, a lot of get-togethers, uh, even if it means a celebration or a connection with another individual too. It can mean that too, okay? Even though I did not get a lot of cup cards, okay? We did get the three of cups, which is one of the cup cards. But what it means to me is that wherever you're going or whatever you're doing at this point or whatever choice you make, it's going to be a good choice, okay? And you're going to find your happiness. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be meeting up with people. You're going to find the connections that you need, whether it's that you're looking for a new job opportunity or going in a new area. You're going to get everything that you need. It's going to come to you, okay? So you're going to be very happy. You're going to be at a happy place celebrating, then you get the fortune's wheels. This is a great card to get. This means a change of fate in a better, happier direction. See? Wheel of fortune. So whatever situation you were in, maybe you felt stagnant at one point, but now you're going to be moving forward. There is a message or a call, something that comes through that really you're, head, you're going to go, or maybe you're going to make the call to head to call someone or to go into a certain certain direction or decide you're going in a certain direction. So this these cards for you right now is all about moving, movement in a certain direction and feeling happy with that movement and feeling satisfied that this is going to work for you, okay? It is going to be a great way forward. Whatever you're deciding to do right now, it's going to it's going to propel you to your happiness and it's going to propel you to the wheel of fortune, which is lots of abundance, happiness, and feeling fulfilled in whatever you decide to do, okay? So this is a great reading. Very short, but to the point. You are moving forward in a different direction, and it's going to give you, it's going to bring you the happiness you're searching for, okay? Um, for your oracle cards, we got yes. So whatever you're asking about, whatever question is in your head, there is a yes answer. Yay! Yes. Let's see what that yes says, okay? In the book of angels here. It says, if I can get it, it's probably one of the last pages. Here it goes. It says, yes, yes, yes. The answer is yes. Proceed, go forth, achieve, enjoy. Don't hold back. The time is now. Rise up, fly high, light up, express yourself, experience, share. And shine. Wonderful message. Yay. <laughs> That's a great message. Then you have family and sug sugite. Detox your life. Maybe you need some detoxation from some of your family members, and that always happens. We need to detox ourselves from different individuals and move forward in another direction or with a different plan, right? So when I got these two cards out together, I felt like you had to detox from certain situations or certain family members. And this happens to all of us. Sometimes we need to pull away. A detox is taking a time away from people and situations that no longer serve us, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to read you the uh, messages for that. The first one is family. So I'm going to read it from the messages of the light. And it says, let's see what it says for family. going the wrong way here you go your family will support you in times of stress and transformation remember that not every family is biologically related your soul group awaits open up to them wonderful and then you get shug shungite so if you can get this um crystal shungite and meditate on it hold it you know it helps you to detox away things you no longer need in your life okay so let's read the message for that Shungite. Let me see if I can find it. It takes me a while to find some of these messages. Here it goes. It says, your mind, body, and spirit need a system. Reboot. Without necessarily re realizing it, we are affected by our environment and all the things in it, from the technology constantly at our fingertips to the air we breathe, the foods we eat, and the, and the health and beauty products we use. Take a closer look at what you choose to surround yourself with and what you put on, on and in your body. These may be certain areas of your life that need simplifying. Take what you need from it and release what you don't. A virtual cleanse will help clear out the energetic sludge and get you back to feeling your best. Wonderful messages for you, um, Scorpio. A wonderful month ahead. You're going to go in a different direction. It's going to bring you a happy fulfillment. You're going to be very passionate about it. It could be due to a call or a message. 
It's going to bring a wheel of fortune um, occurrences, which is going to be happiness, celebration, and everything that you are hoping to accomplish will come to you, okay? So love and light to you all. Happy New Year. Thanks for listening, um, Scorpio. Have a good month. Bye-bye.